Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have what are their true intentions in love. And so Capricorn, we have some oracle cards here for you. And it does look right away, Capricorn, that like uh, somebody might have kids here. We have the children card here, right? Uh, but, you know, somebody right away could be like dealing with a kind of childhood wounds or they have been like indoctrinated or uh, they have been conditioned. That's the best way for people maybe to understand. Uh, she goes, you know. But, you know, this conditioning card here, uh, it's showing up here with this card, the unicorn, rewriting inner programming. Yeah. Some, and we have innocence here, too. Somebody could have childhood wounds here. They have been taught something, and they have been conditioned, I feel like, in their life. Uh, maybe they're trying to rewrite that programming right now, but uh, it's it's never an overnight thing, right? And the conditioning, you know, it could be taught things that kind of bring you down. It looks like somebody here has been kind of taught that or conditioned. Or maybe, you know, to, to believe in a certain way, right? Maybe, uh, you know, I'm not sure what that is yet, but... Something that has kind of harmed somebody here, right? This is what they want to do to our kids, like indoctrinate our kids and condition them, right? Condition them not to think for themselves, don't ever have a critical mind, uh, because they don't want the narrative questioned, right? Because they're, I mean, look what's going on, right? Uh, look what's going on with prices, and I mean, there's a, a 20 things I could say, but they're, you know, not here, right? Uh, but anyway, this person... Your person has been, uh, or you, has maybe been conditioned here. There's prosperity showing up here, right? And we see, you know, the big, kind of the big, uh, the big Chinese palace here. Yeah, it's very cool. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, there's some type of prosperity here. Uh, we have somebody who I believe feels bad that somebody wants to give somebody up. I feel like they do feel bad about it. Or you could have felt maybe somebody was dangling a carrot in front of you, Capricorn, uh, about maybe maybe giving something up. Because we have the adoption card, and that's really what it talks about. The man's, you know, handing the baby to the woman, like here, and she's very happy. But it's about kind of an exchange or giving something up. We have the friendliness card as well. Uh, and these two trees, you know, uh, one's pink, yeah, and one's uh, golden, right? Uh, we have pink leaves sometimes, depending on, you know, the time of the year on some of these beautiful trees, right? But long story short, this is a number two. This talks about two people who feel like, who feel like they are friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. And your person, we're going to have the gypsy spread in the uh, as part of the extended. We have the death card. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. Looks like you ended a situation with somebody. The Hanged Man, it's in the reverse, though. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. Ace of Cups, Temperance showing up here. Could be uh, Sagittarius. The Death Cards here could be Scorpio and the Hanged Man Pisces, right? Uh, we already have three major Arcanas here. There's only six cards your challenge is the Ace of Cups, Capricorn. You want a brand new beginning in love with somebody. This is clear. You know, when it shows up in the challenge, uh, this is really clear here that you might feel somebody has been conditioned maybe to think a certain way, and now you can't have this Ace of Cups with them. That's kind of how the reading already looks. Looks. Uh, this is how it looks, yeah. Like you can't have a brand new beginning in love with somebody because... Because they are conditioned, uh, like with childhood wounds or what they learned in, you know, in the house or, you know, growing up. It does look like that, right? So let's see what else we have here. And the false halo is here. You know, this could be, you know, your energy or theirs. This can talk about somebody who feels like they're being tricked. Or, you know, maybe it can talk about somebody possibly who feels like guilty or like a hip hypocrite. Because we kind of have the witch and the angel on the same card, right? Let's look at their, uh, let's see what we have for Capricorn's person. Ace of Cups right here. In, uh, yeah, in their past, they have the Fool card. This Five of, of Swords for Capricorn's person. 
their challenge is going to be the king of cups what they want is going to be the hanged man and this is in the upright omg could be what they want but could be the energy they are feeling here we have the three of cups in their fear so this person might be fearing joy that they're not going to have joy it's a possibility here there could be a, a major sacrifice here for kids somebody could be making a, a sacrifice for their children they could be or for prosperity it's a possibility what's on your person's mind here is this five of swords and next to the fool and the ace of cups this person what's on their mind is a defeat right and a major change turning point in their life because the fives are turning points typically they are crises they could be conflict chaos and this is the word that you know this five of swords is you know this is about a card of winners and losers or victories and defeats I should say victory and defeat right but you know So you already have uh, the death card in the past. You might have broke up with this person, uh, Capricorn, or kind of like maybe just let them like slip on or let them fade away or let them go. You could have. We have the death card. The hangman's in the upright. I mean, in the reverse here for you. What's on your mind is the Knight of Wands. It could be a fire sign. It could be taking action. I feel like you probably have a lot of passion for this person. The Knight of Wands, what's on your mind? It can sometimes show up as somebody who is being seen as unreliable. Kind of like a little player, right? Like, you know, it can, right? Uh, and so you have the Hangman Reverse. You could have, like, ended something. Uh, you might feel sacrificed for that. The Hangman Reverse, this could be uh, possibly saying here that... Uh, Mm-hmm. Maybe that you don't know if you'll be sacrificed entirely. Possibly. You could have been all like looking at this from many angles for like a long time. Like it doesn't have to, right? Let's see with the hangman reverse. Let's have a look and see what they have to say about it in the reverse. Yeah, this talks about seeing things with fresh eyes. It's next to the death card, but it's reversed. Uh, and this can talk about martyrdom and punishment imprisonment and treason <laughs> maybe you feel punished here you could feel like somebody kind of uh what's the word not sacrificed but uh when somebody's like against you right like uh they didn't support you at all and you probably had to end the situation with somebody like they weren't in your corner yeah You might feel imprisoned by this. You definitely could. I feel like it looks like you look you feel like your person is like conditioned and they're not going to change or something like that. Let's get a card here on the hangman reversed, which is next to the death card. OMG. We have the Queen of Cups. This can talk about a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. It can simply talk about love and compassion. I feel like you you kind of feel like somebody kind of uh possibly like that word when when somebody like it's not treason uh but when somebody doesn't stand with you at all there's no loyalty right exactly what's going on in this country they care about everybody else's border but their own these people are not they're not that stupid you guys it's it's uh it's it's planned it's all by design the prices right uh we'll buy oil from another country uh but they have dirtier standards than us so uh how are you helping the planet at all you're not you're just uh bringing this country to their knees that's what you're doing yeah let's get back to this though this is your current energy let's get a card for capricorn here i feel like you feel sacrificed yeah you feel like somebody here was uh can't think of the right word regarding treason here. Six of Pentacles. You could have gave somebody up here because you were a third party. 
But I feel like you feel kind of like sacrificed on some level. The Knight of Wands is on your mind with the Magician. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is Aries. I feel like you want to manifest something here. I just feel like you felt kind of in limbo for possibly a long time. You could have, maybe you were, uh, maybe you were like, you know, it, there could be third party here for sure, right? There could be, there's some challenge why you can't have the Ace of Cups with somebody, Capricorn, right? Clearly you want somebody to take action and you want to manifest this Ace of Cups because it's here with the Magician and the Knight of Wands. Let's see why you have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups in your challenge. Yeah, I don't feel like you are with this person, and there could be some distance between you guys. I feel like you want to return this. Uh, you want this to read like you want to lessen the emotional distance or maybe physical between you and this person. We have the Hermit here. Yeah, the challenge for you is they need to be enlightened here, possibly. They need to, because we have the Hermit grabbing the star, right? So he can receive the light and understand where he needs to go, what he needs to do. And we have conditioning and this rewriting inner programming. I just feel like somebody is conditioned here and they are not enlightened, or this is how you feel. Like they haven't a kind of awakened to their spirituality. They just feel like they're supposed to live a certain way with this conditioning card. They're supposed to, you know, live, oh, well, my mom said I have to stay with, you know, uh, I don't know, Jackie. I have to stay with Jackie forever, uh, even though I'm not happy with Jackie because we have kids. We have the conditioning card right next to the children. What you want, uh, Sagittarius, I mean Capricorn, or what you could be hoping for the Nine of Cups, you could be hoping to heal this with this person. There could be a Sagittarian involved. You might be, uh, and you know, this is this can talk about, the Temperance can talk about, it talks about healing, but it can talk about, uh, you might want somebody to figure out their business about a Sagittarian. Maybe, maybe Virgo, Aries is here, Pisces here. Uh, you know, but you could be, like, wanting them to, like, spiritually evolve. Because Temperance is an angel, right? And here she is with her healing, with all her water, uh, right? And she is, like, uh, this is about kind of balance. It can be, you might want this person to, like, I feel like just become spiritually balanced, kind of. I feel like this person is stuck in uh, whatever they learned in the past is, you know, is kind of uh, dictating their whole life. It does look like that. Your fear here, and this is your wish, the Nine of Cups, Capricorn, with the Two of Cups and the Challenge. This is your major wish. It is. And we have the Three of Wands in your fear, uh, and your or your doubt, Three of Cups reversed. And here's the man launching the bird for a new beginning. That's what he's doing. He's reading something, right? You could be uh, maybe doubting that this person is planning to return to you, or planning to have a new beginning with you. I feel like this is what you want, but it looks like you're kind of doubting that's happening here. I feel like you are fearing you're not going to reconcile with them. The Three of Cups reversed. And they have... Uh, let's look at their cards now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have this false halo card. Sometimes it can talk about Somebody uh, who wants maybe sometimes to do the right thing, but uh, they are kind of stuck between their al alter ego, right? Where you have the angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other shoulder. And they are both telling you what to do. The angel is telling you, you know, you can do this. You can have this new beginning. And the devil is telling you, no, remember what your mother said? Or <laughs> I shouldn't be using people's moms, right, so much, but... Remember what you learned, right? The devil, like you can't have a, a good, have, you can't be happy because the devil is about bondage and lies and fear. And that's what these people want for us, right? This is why they have a new crisis almost every other day. It's totally clear they are trying to uh, bring the United States to their knees. Yeah, it is. So let's look at this spread though here, Capricorn, for your person. Uh, what's on their mind is a defeat and a victory, right? Five of Swords. Here they have the Fool card, and they have the Ace of Cups here in the past, but I don't feel like this is even part of their past. I feel like this is completely what's on their mind, a defeat, 
a brand new beginning with you and taking this chance with you, right? The Fool card. So let's get a card on the Five of Swords. We have the Page of Wands. Yeah, this is a renewal and a, a reunion with you. Yes, it is. This is what's on their mind. They know they have to defeat another situation. They do, right? And it, what's their challenge here is the King of Cups and the Three of Wands. This is the person who is, I believe, so conditioned here and that you are concerned about that they will remain that way or they might remain on the fence. They haven't grown, spiritually evolved. Uh, they're definitely conditioned and I feel like uh, harmed from their past. Yeah, harmed. So the challenge for your person, King of Cups, Three of Wands, and this is what you're fearing, right? Uh, and the challenge for them here is their future. Is I believe uh, what's challenging this person is most likely making a decision in love about their future. That's what's challenging this person. And they have uh, the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this talks about, like, kind of making up your mind sometimes, right? The Seven of Pentacles. It could talk about, I wonder what's going to happen in the upright, right? I wonder what's going to happen maybe with my money. It's in the reverse. This person could be challenged uh, possibly by a new future with you uh, and losing money at the same time. It could be that. It could be that uh, maybe, you know, maybe you don't want to wait any longer. It's possible this Seven of Pentacles in the reverse can talk about uh, you know, not waiting any longer, right? It can. Let's get another card on their challenge where they have the Five of Wands. Yeah, this person's really overwhelmed here by this. Mm -hmm. This can talk about competition, the Five of Wands. could talk about fighting here. Mm -hmm. But this is in their challenge. I feel like this person just uh, feels majorly challenged here about their future and about making a decision, right? Mm -hmm. This is a card of struggle and strife. Here we have the Five of Wands. Here we have the Five of Swords in their energy. This person's more challenged than you, Capricorn. Yeah, I see you kind of feeling stuck and totally in limbo by this, right? And it's clear what you want, but this person is the person who's really challenged because I believe the ball's in their court, right? And what they could want, uh, we have the Hanged Man and the Five of Pentacles. This is looks like a sacrifice right here. Five of Pentacles leaving somebody out with that Hanged Man. This could be them trying to figure it out, right? Trying to enlighten themselves here, right? This false halo can talk about somebody who's sometimes trying to figure something out and they feel very tricked maybe by their own conditioning, I feel like, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and their fear is going to be the Three of Cups. Let's get a card on that. Or their doubt and the Six of Swords. This person could be kind of... I feel like they know here. They're doubting that they're ever going to be happy unless they, I feel like, leave somebody Six of Swords. And, you know, this could be them. They could also be... This person might be, like, knowing here, or I always get this, that... They know that they it's possible they might never ever make up their mind that they might stay in limbo themselves or they might like not not take this chance on you to have the ace of cups capricorn this person loves you yeah i feel like they do but they you know th this person is challenged i believe by their past they could be challenged by money right i feel like this person uh really needs to grow spiritually they could be fearing they're not going to have joy in their life unless they leave somebody Six of Swords here. They could be fearing you're going to go if they don't reconcile with you. It's possible here. I feel like you have some power, Capricorn, with this person. Yeah, don't let them think that you are so easy waiting around uh, for some. Yeah, it just depends the, the the precise dynamic going on here. But you have some power. They don't want to lose you. No, this person loves you. But maybe if you play it too easy, they're not going to make a choice to leave somebody here. That's kind of how this reading looks. And let's see. We're going to start the Gypsy Spread, and then we'll finish it in the other reading. We have the Soldier. This is in the heart of the matter. This can be somebody who kind of loves it and leaves somebody. Could be. Could talk about a new beginning and an ending, kind of, or somebody leaving somebody, for sure. 
uh, usually like a love it and leave it. Like I said, it can talk about somebody who's bringing news. Let's see what else we have. In the past, we have the foe. This is a third party, Sagittarius. Yeah, I mean Capricorn. Yeah, it is F O E, not H O E. You guys don't 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 go there with me. I'm not saying that. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, but let's see what we have, you guys. Let's see what could be unfolding. The enemy. This is also a third party. I kid you not. So you could have been a third party with this person in the past, or they had one. I mean, the reading could be switched here, but there was somebody, a third party in the past. There is one now unfolding. And I feel like this person's bringing you news here. Let's see. We have the malady card. Showing up in the obstacle. Somebody's depressed here. That's part of the obstacle. And the death card is the outcome. OMG. So there is an ending coming. Uh, I feel like you probably already ended it with this person, the death card. You could have. You could be all hung up because you want them to end something else. Yeah, it could definitely be here. Uh, because we know you want this person, Capricorn. Yeah, we, we totally know that. We're going to end this reading. We're going to complete this gypsy spread in the outcome, I really want to see it, right? Uh, and also, yeah, I do. I think this reading's uh, kind of cool. We're going to also see how they feel about you, how they are seeing the situation, the environment that this person is in. Mm-hmm. Physical or emotional, any external influences, what they might want to say to you, Capricorn, what you don't know about them, right? Uh, and their true intentions or their outcome. They're all super affordable. And the link is below. And thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.